Okay, this is an active isolated stretch for your piriformis, okay? So when you feel your stretch, you'll feel it deep in your glutes, okay? So the piriformis sits from your sacrum to the top of your leg, and that's the area you're gonna feel this stretch. Uh, when you first do this stretch, do it somewhere where you can stabilize yourself, okay? So if you need to grab hold of something, you can. Um, probably do it on your own, because you don't wanna be laughed at while you're trying to get the hang of it. But it, it is a great stretch, because what you will do, you can see I'm gonna stretch my left, uh, piriformis, but while I'm doing it, I'm actually going to be strengthening my right glute medius because it's all about one legged stability. Okay, so the way it will happen so if I'm going to stretch my left, I'm going to go into a one legged squat on the right, and then what I'll do, I'll do it slowly, and I'm going to bring my left foot onto my knee. I'm going to go down into the squat, and when I feel this stretch to overpower, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my left knee down, sit into it, and then come back out. So I'm going to push for one, two and then back out to neutral, and I'm gonna do this 10 times, okay? So, you go into the squat, one, two, and then back out. So it's relatively quick. Um, two, so feeling the stretch, one, two. So the stretch is increased two ways, by pushing on the knee, and by squatting down further. And you may start to feel a bit of a burn in the right. Well, that's good, because you're strengthening while you're lengthening, which is the beauty of active isolated stretching. I'll show you something else. It's a great form of self-assessment, okay, because it's all about one-legged stability. So now if I try and do the same thing on my left, I know I've got a bit of a left glute med thing going on at the minute, which I'm working on. So you'll see the difference. So when I go to stretch on the left, straight away I feel more unstable, and there you go, I could do two and I fall, okay? That's why you've got to have something to hold on to. So if you are doing this and you're wobbling all over the place, probably stop, think about some glute med exercise, stretch your adductors, strengthen your adductors, and then try again.